leave it like that. So it is what it is. Twisted. So I'm over here at the um, 01 that I'm picking up from, which is Eco Shred. And, you know, I did my arrival and I'm about to go in here and see what they got for me. See what trailer I'm picking up, see if there's, get the paperwork, all that good stuff. So now I got my bills and um, going up to Sedalia, a TNW over there. Been there before, it's just been a while. Picking up trailer 38 over here. These Eco Shred trailers, they're they're dry vans and you know they're kind of a not as nice of a trailer as the normal prime trailers. So sometimes I find problems wrong with them. They have to go to the shop, so I have to come back and get a new trailer. Hopefully this one's good. I found my trailer 38. It's time to hook it up and check and make sure that there's no problems with it. And like I said, it's not the nicest trailer ever. So, when you're hooking this up, service lines are usually the inside one. Usually they mark it some way with like a blue line. The blue. Blue to blue. You want, you want to keep your crips with your crips and your bloods with your bloods. If not, they're going to fight. And then we got the electrical line. Electrical line. Goes right in to power all the lines. And the AP is gone. So, with these trailers, anytime you pick up a trailer, come under here. Make sure that you see that bar that goes across the game pin. Make sure it's fully locked around. Yeah. It doesn't have a spot to hang the handle, so kind of use a bungee cord. Like I said, these aren't the nicest trailers in the world. As you can tell just what we use for these tire tire loads hey look the lights working then you're gonna come under the trailer start checking your brakes oh, this one's not too bad suspension airlines look at all the frame all the cross members no stuff between the space and the tire. Got some tread depth on these. Check the back ones. We have a mud flap. Another light. No ABS problems. Back lights are working. Clearance lights are working. And it's kind of has some beads laying around in the floor in here. I don't know what that's about, but. This is how the inside of a tire trailer looks. So whenever they load this, there's no grooves in the floor. They don't need air to circulate in here. It's not a reefer. And the walls get all marked up from tires rubbing against them. So it's kind of your empty trailer. So we check the trailer, make sure it's safe. Get a, probably gonna go over there, get a mud flap now and then hit the road. Of course, I still gotta do my paperwork and stuff over here at Eco Shred. Also over here, that is the tanker wash facility. If you're a tanker driver, you need to uh, get your tank washed out, bring it over here. I'm pretty sure what they do is drop the dirty one and pick up a clean one so they can keep moving. I'm pretty sure that that's what they do, but that's the wash. But yeah, let's get this day going. Come with me on this ride. So here's some trip planning that I'm gonna I'm doing right now. Is this is the place I'm going. So what I'm doing is figuring out. I can almost guarantee you that's where my trailer's gonna go, and I've been here before, so I'm pretty sure that's where I put it last time. When you're trip planning, know the way around the building. I'm going to go around the back side of the building and I'm probably going to drop my trailer back in the back back there. Sorry. I'm going to drop my trailer probably back here. I'm going to pull this one out, take it back around, drop it right there, pull in front of mine, come out onto this road because that's going to be the best way to back it in there. Whenever I come back out onto this road, 
I will be able to back it into that first dock from there now I've been here before I know that there's a ditch here and a ditch here so you have to do some get out and looks and make sure that it's safe but that's part of trip planning you kind of get an idea of what's going on before you get there make sure you guys look at the maps before y'all go into these locations found this little truck stop like thing and um, it's restroom break time I had plenty of parking so I just parked in the stop in a spot to go to the restroom because the fuel bays had trucks in them there was there was one empty fuel bay but why block the fuel bay whenever there was so many empty spots so stop here use the restroom before I go to the shipper now one of the reasons I'm doing this instead of just going to the shipper using the bathroom there is because like at these tire shops a lot of times just a bunch of mechanics are using the restrooms Sometimes they're not the cleanest thing in the world. Some of them are nice. Here I pulled in the driveway like I said. There's an empty spot back there that I'm going to put the loaded trailer. Just like I said. Now I'm going to go check into the office and tell them I'm here to pick up the loaded trailer. So, you know, it wasn't a bad drive. It wasn't bad at all. Real quick, short day, you know, just delivering this or switching out trailers, taking the, dropping the empty trailer, picking up a load of trailer, all that fun. A little tire shop right here. They're always changing tires, replacing them and stuff. I have a lot of destroyed ones. In the back, I'm about to drop this trailer right here. I'm behind the building. The docks are over there. That's not the trailer I'm picking up. I'm on the other side of it. So drop this trailer and then hook up the other one. Pull it out. Drop it behind the building like the plan was originally. And then put this one in. So just looking around at the area that I'm going to be using. There's not much of a ditch right there. But there is definitely a ditch over here so I really do not want any part of this ditch right here has a drainage underneath the ground but I don't want no part of that it goes into that field so that's kind of what I'm dealing with I don't even think it would be a good option to do like a u-turn out of here to put the trailer behind the place I think my better option is to go the wrong way around the place, go that way and drop the trailer in the back. But before you drop the, before you want to um, back into a spot, it's great to get out here and kind of look at what's going on so you come up with a better route of action. Having a good plan never hurts out, never hurts to have a great plan to start out with. So I am I do a lot of planning on these. So for a lot of the times you gotta look for your best way in and out of a place I've been to some really tight places where I had to say hey buddy um, how do the other guys do this because some of the places I look I'm all like this is an option that's an option or this what's the best way to do it so I kind of asked the shipper receiver hey do you have what's the way most people do it and they, they'll tell you they'll be like hey um this guy, he does it this way, super easy for him to do, this, but most people do it this way, and um, it's probably the, probably going to work out for you the best. What's crazy is whenever they tell you, what, they didn't send a day cab? Uh, good luck getting in there with your condo, then I know I got a fight on my hands. Because a lot of these places, they just do... They just do tires and stuff like that. So they kind of have these tight spots. There's pretty much just a building, a little bit of room to pull trucks in and out of their shops, stuff like that. So I'm gonna get this trailer out the way and put the, the one I brought in here for them. Thing I like to do is come back here, make sure that they don't have no plate inside the trailer. That way it's safe to pull out. Looks pretty good went up that driveway and made it pretty much a straight line back to back the trailer that I'm taking with me in and 
Now I'm going to drop this trailer right here, go pick up my other trailer and stick it in the door. Oh, that's nice. You got to love that high quality duct tape they use on this. This is uh, rated at 100 miles per hour or something like that. So like that stuff does not come off. It's a big gash in the trailer. Well, I'm going to be messaging um, Prime about that because it might have happened here. With these docks, they, this right here is called a dock plate. It comes up and folds into the trailer. It cannot hit the wall over there. cannot hit the wall over here. It has to go right in it. So I've been working on trying to get it as squared as I can. You want to be square. See this gap right here? It's, it's not bad enough that they can't load and unload this trailer because this dock plate will reach into there. I like to be more perfect on it, but they said it was fine like that. So they said lots of people have trouble with this dock. As you can tell, I, I did not even get straight with it. So I could really pull up with the wheel straight. And then as I backed up, I could hit a hard left to fix that. But they said, just leave it like that. So it is what it is. Drop this trailer. I probably pulled up about six, seven times. I, I kept on curving it in too much because I was a lot worried about that hole up there instead of making it go right into the spot so i kept ending up in front of that pole and it took me a couple times safely did it nobody got hurt you know i just ain't straight i'm not happy with it that is not perfectly straight you know that's me being a perfectionist can't always be a perfectionist they got a board over here so the landing gear don't sink into the ground i'm gonna drop these landing gear unhook this trailer go get the other one and hit the road back to the eco shred to get rid of this loaded trailer i got over there but hey it was a lot of fun and hey i got it in there i'm out until well actually i'm not out but i'm out of heat this place time to do paperwork so i'm back where it all started out back over here to prime east as it used to be called eco shred uh tanker wash whatever you want to call it but made it back safe didn't stop on the way back at all and just ran those miles out to get back so now i'm dropping this trailer and that's gonna be a that's gonna be a day of what it was like doing one of these eco shred loads i i wish i had my gopro today i wasn't planning on making a video but kind of was like you know what let's see what we we do on these loads like this that electrical line sticks but you know i wasn't planning on making a video i don't have my gopro i don't have like i didn't have none of my my equipment to like hold the camera out further i just have my hand in my phone i'm gonna grab my dash camera footage and i'm gonna put it it put it in between segments so y'all can see you know kind of like the road and stuff like that i don't have like a camera set up in my truck to to like record the like anything driving or nothing like that i just have a dash camera on the dash and i'll pull some footage off of there it has no audio so you know i'll make some stuff up put some music on it so it's not as boring but yeah got a whole load of old shredded tires that are going to be shredded up and made into mulch see all those tires back there they're all going to become mulch that mulch you see around the terminal is what they make here and they make some turf and stuff like that just just different stuff that's that's good to be used in playgrounds and stuff like that the good thing about the mulch here is it has no metal in it that's going to hurt somebody so it's perfect for kids playgrounds and different stuff like that and like comment and subscribe and you know we're almost to that 3k subscribers guys y'all are really pushing hard trying to get it done before christmas so y'all can get these hats don't forget that giveaway 3,000 subscribers i'm about to end the the membership like if you join the channel click that join button down there and join the channel 
then you'll be entered into another drawing for the hat. So I'm about to say by this date, we're not anybody after this date is not going to be eligible to join the membership and get into that drawing. Also, don't forget Discord. So Discord might be the first place I drop a hat or it might be the the channel membership i might put some names in a hat shake that thing up and let somebody draw a name out of there get one of my kids maybe to draw a name out of there and find out who wins the first hat or maybe the second hat and then discord you guys on discord i'm just gonna drop a link in there sometime that day it could be before the video it could be after the video or it could be during the live stream whatever there's going to be a link. I'm going to just throw it in there. Add everyone. First person to respond to this gets the hat. First person gets on there and responds back. It's going to end up with the second hat. And then three more will be given away live. I'll drop my phone number during the live and say, hey, first person to text this number will get this hat. Or like last time, I might, I might ask a question. You know, hey, in such and such video... You know what was the answer to this question like last time I did it about the Gatorade I said what kind of Gatorade does Tim Weimer drink from the Gatorade video and he said his answer was he only drinks blue Gatorade so I you know a little throwback to my buddy Tim you know I miss the dude but yeah that's gonna be it for this load we completely did a tire load start to finish started here we're ending here like comment and subscribe so if you love this content that i put out on this channel then make sure you click the next video right there also if you want to check out some playlists i have right there don't forget thursday night lives 7 p.m central time you can come ask your own questions and answers and get all the information you want and if you want to subscribe to this channel, then go ahead and click that face right there.